We're back for another episode in my Turboville factory that's going to look like a small town. We have our train station, we have our high school, and today we're going to build some neighborhoods using blueprints to make some of our intermediate products before we get to turbo motors, cooling systems, and heat sinks at the end. And for the first time ever, I'm going to use trucks to move things around my factory. We'll see how it goes, but I'm absolutely terrified. So buckle up. Stick around to catch the truck action here in a little bit, but we're going to start today building our aluminum ingots and we're going to build a little neighborhood. This is supposed to be a small town after all that will take our aluminum scrap from this factory and make aluminum ingots right here. And I prepared a blueprint just for the occasion. Let's get out our smelter house. It's a style of blueprint that I made in a past video and you might be wondering why are you making that waste of space? Well, it's because of this because I wanted to build a neighborhood. So each one of these has two smelters in it. It just takes in aluminum scrap and outputs aluminum ingots on that side. We're using the pure aluminum ingot recipe. It takes a little bit more bauxite than the traditional recipe, but you don't have to mess around with quartz at all. And that is what I want from this build. I need 18 of these smelters, so we need nine houses. We're gonna have three houses on this side, six houses on this side. So let's go ahead and knock out these blueprints. This is the kind of thing that blueprints are exactly for. It's reproducing an interesting design like this without too much of the hassle of building every single part of this. I still had to take the effort to go and make this blueprint and make it look good and make it look like I want. But then I get the reward here by putting down nine of these things and really speeding up my build. They can be a little blueprints can be a little temperamental to line up though, as you are seeing here. Okay, back at it. Let's see if we can get this to line up again and not get too impatient. The key with the blueprint, you have to be extra patient because you get punished if you get in a hurry and put them down without lining them up properly, like I did the first time. Okay, now we got it working. Then all we need to do between these things is just hook up the belts. And I've decided to do this way because lifts on blueprints look a little goofy at the moment. They don't have the little black uh, extension that makes it hook up to the uh, conveyor hole. So it looks a little weird. So I'm gonna go with belts on ground level in this case. And since I did make this as a general purpose design, I do have to go in each one of these things and put on the recipes, which is fine. I could have gone in and done this on a blueprint and made a specific version first, but I didn't think it was really too big of a deal because you can just copy and paste. Oops, I need to call the tree service here for this one. <laughs> Let's get our road lines painted on here as well. That'll help the look. So see this side dotted line? This actually has a little bit of a mistake on it. It has this dotted line on the bottom, but it's really just the one on the side. So you can just have it and then go down like this, flip it around and go down like that. And then hopefully you do it straight and don't screw up like me. All right, belts hooked up, power on, recipes on. So all we need to do is grab our aluminum scrap next door. We got our first belt hooked up. I just want to make sure that everything is running here. All right, I see some green lights. Got aluminum scrap coming in. Aluminum ingots coming out. Excellent. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a flaw on my blueprint. I forgot to hook up one little section of <laughs> of belt right here. Arr. All right, I only have to do that what? nine times all right i can live with that and i don't even have to go inside all right fine if that's the only mistake i made i'm doing pretty good i put these fix it uh tilted walls here so it'd be easy for us to change the color of the house and you know everybody has their own taste some people like purple some people like yellow some people like black some people like really purple and then some people like a crisp white we have our 540 aluminum ingots per minute done, and now we need to turn them into aluminum casings, 360 per minute. That's gonna take six constructors. So I have a very similar blueprint to the smelter house, but I have a constructor house that I'm gonna put down here on the end. All right, very similar design, different color doors, different color roof, and then I had to add these columns right here. I know it looks kind of goofy, but for some reason the constructors go outside of the hitbox of their uh, of their building and these things extend outside the wall a little bit and I wanted to cover that up so I put a couple columns in there so I got to put the recipes on these because I did design these for kind of general use and we're making aluminum where are you aluminum casing well I forgot power attachments on that blueprint so 
so I'm gonna actually have to go and do that as, <laughs> as well. I thought I was gonna make one mistake. All right, so our aluminum ingots in. This should be making us about 360 aluminum casings per minute, ready to be turned into heat sink. Now that we have our aluminum casings done, let's move on to our steel and iron based products over here. We need steel pipe, we need wire, and then we need rotors, which we're gonna use the steel rotors recipe to make. And we're gonna deliver all those materials by trucks from the end of our high school down there. Let's get the buildings set up first. We need 42 steel pipe per minute, and that's gonna take three constructors worth. When we need 125 wire per minute, and that's gonna take six constructors worth. So all together, we need nine constructors. Let's make it 10 because we're using blueprints here. So on this side of the street, we're gonna use our constructor blueprint. And we need five of these because we need 10 constructors total. There's one, the first one's always the hardest one to put down. <laughs> and the rest of them normally line up pretty well with the blueprint, blueprint, the blueprint action. First two buildings will be for steel pipe. And then this last three buildings will be for iron wire. Make sure our street is long enough here. Change this to black for steel pipe. And then we're gonna change this to orange for wire. Cause you know, copper close enough. We have the buildings for steel pipe and iron wire all hooked up. So now we need to have buildings for the rotors that they produce. So for rotors, I also made in a house design that houses one assembler. And I made this in my awesome blueprints you can't miss video. A lot of people complained about how much space it took up, but this is why I made it right here exactly with this factory in mind. There we go. So now we can get the other five of these. We need five, five assemblers worth of rotors, not a ton of them. And so we'll put these down next door. I need to switch them to a little bit of grass here. I had a little bit of different ideas with the ground when I first made this, so we'll flip it over to grass. I would have edited this in the blueprint machine, but I actually forgot I did this. And it's such in the pain to, such a pain to tear down blueprints. I'm just gonna do this. This is a lot faster. Okay, and on these, the belts are on this level, this higher level to fit everything in. Let's just take a look on the inside here before we hook up all the belts to show you what I got if you didn't see that original video. So we have our inputs coming in up here. They're nice and tight and compact. They don't, they do not clip, uh, but they do fit together quite nicely. I did put the lifts directly, or I did put the splitters directly onto the lifts like that, but I don't think that looks too bad. And then we have our output coming up like this in this weird curved manner to fit everything in this footprint. Let's hook up the belts. And these actually hook power up between each other via these lights. Give us a little bit something different. So in order to get our resources here, we need to make some truck stations on this end. And what small town would be complete without its own fire station? So we're going to make a little fire station right here that will serve as our truck depot for our steel ingots and iron ingots. Let's get started on our fire station by putting down our truck stations first, so just to make sure that we have enough room to deal with everything. I think we're just going to put them like this facing each other. Now, I've never done trucks before. And so I've only recorded one route since I started playing and that was driving a factory cart in a straight line to deliver my space elevator part. So I'm very inexperienced, that was a while ago, so I'm very inexperienced at doing that. So I actually don't even know if I need to turn around or if I can back out of this. Uh, but I guess we're gonna find out here in a second. So we're gonna change our custom swatch here to be kind of, I guess, fire station colors. So I've already saved these colors, so I'm not too worried about doing it, uh, losing them. So we're gonna make it extremely red Actually, I may already have that red. And then here we're gonna load uh, white, which I think I already have. And I think that's generally fire station color. So let's see what this looks like. Like Christmas, beautiful. The most small town fire stations aren't really too fancy. So we'll keep this one kind of simple. We'll start with fix it walls and we'll have to color all of this by hand, which is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna start this on the half here because I'm gonna make a big area for our truck to drive through. So if you want to place walls on the half uh, in between foundations like this, you can just put down a road barrier and then get out your wall, hit control, and it will go right there where you want it. And let's move the walls across here and then we're gonna leave this whole thing as an opening to our fire station here, just to give us a lot of room to work with when we get our trucks in and out. I think I made that end a little bit too small, so it's gonna be even more difficult for me, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Literally, I think I did make a bridge over there. Okay, let's get the rest of these walls on. 
then you will see the rest of this fire station in one quick there we go turboville fire department ready to receive our part complete with its own fire pole all right fine i've been putting it off for however long this video is long enough i finally have to go try to record a truck route in front of all you guys let's see how it goes all right let's give this a go i haven't watched any guides nothing i have recorded one route in my life on a factory cart so i am gonna try to figure out how to do this live perhaps i should have made this a little bit bigger okay didn't fall off the edge that's a good start okay let me back out try not to drive over the edge Oh, that was pretty good. Well, I'll actually able to do this first try. I will be absolutely amazed if I do. I've driven a truck hardly at all in this game. Oh, come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, no, I got out. Oh, oh it's still recording. Awesome. Oh, I definitely should have given myself a little bit more room here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'd be back to the drawing board there. Okay. So let's take these out. Give myself a chance to actually make that turn. Wow. Okay. Explosive result. All right. Take two. Come on, baby. This is the one. Okay, maybe this was a really bad idea. Take two, abort. Yeah. I can see why I've played a thousand hours and never done one of these before. There's a very good reason for that. And I'm finding out firsthand. Okay, take three. Now with actual room to drive. Okay, this is gonna be the one, baby. Oh, look at all this room. Oh, thing of beauty. Okay, it's not very far. Honestly, seriously, I should be able to do this. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, we got a shot. First half executed flawlessly. Not quite. Okay, here's the moment of truth. This is difficult. Can I execute? Come on. Don't flip over like an absolute crazy thing. Like last. Oh. Hooray. Okay. I did it. I think it's good enough. So what do I do now? Maybe I should have watched the uh, how-to trucks video. Is it going to come or not? I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, okay. There we go. Sweet. All right, now I get to watch my driving from afar. Now it's doing weird things. Okay, that's very odd. I didn't drive like that. Rest this autopilot for a DUI. What is going on here? Follow directions, dude. Uh, is there collisions in this game and tr with trucks? If I have two trucks driving down the same street, different speeds, are they gonna hit each other? Oh God, why did I look this up? Okay, this is insane. So it stops at this one. And doesn't stop at this one. So this thing is now bringing iron ingots. Oh, I need to hurry up and get down there and switch this so it doesn't load up the wrong thing. No! It's going to load up iron ingots into my whole steel belts and everything else. I'm going to have to go and clear it out. Ugh. Stop. No. Oh, of course. Instantly. Oh my God. Thank God. Wait. Coal. Oh my God. What on earth? Use the coal that did I put it in there as fuel? And I didn't put. I put it in the wrong slot. Ah. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my God. Okay. I gotta turn this off and figure some stuff out. Hold, please. Didn't look anything up yet. I'm gonna try it out. So I think I can actually delete this node. 
yes and then it should just go straight to this node only and not go to the steel node i hope okay let this one be the one oh yeah i think this is it i oh steel only yes okay so it only took recording it three times fixing all the belts and my blueprints for steel and having to redo all of these belts now um for the first route so that's horrible and it would have been much easier to just run belts all the way down but that's not quite as fun now is it all right let's fix these belts that guy's doing his thing and then we have to record another one which i am fairly nervous about now after me failing somewhat miserably there nothing to make you feel like a noob faster than this oh my goodness off to a good start can't believe i was gonna try to do that with one lane it's insane because I didn't really realize how big the trucks are. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, and then this is the tough one that I still left only one truck wide. So let's see if we can execute again like we did before and not flip over. Whoops, I came to a complete halt this time. Please don't flip over. Task completed. Cool. All right, off to a quick start. All right, let's see how this thing navigates the turnaround. Well, that's not what you're looking for. Off the cliff we go. Sweet. Okay. I might have killed a spitter at, while I was at it to get some... Uh, oh. Okay. So he just resurrected himself somehow. That's good, I guess. All right, here he comes. I can definitely see why I've always just run long belts earlier in the game. Or just drove things back and forth manually because this is appears to be very unreliable to me maybe it is reliable in practice but uh you know i don't know it seems a little weird okay iron i think we actually have it figured out i'm about to get run over by my own truck if he falls off the side again i mean i didn't do that i backed out straight into the street but for some reason he tries to do like a 16 point turn <laughs> runs into a house all right there we go then off you go I think our truck fiasco is over amazingly let's hook up this lift and let's just see if there goes the iron ingots and let's see if they get all the way through here start making some iron wire and start making some rotors because if we do we can declare victory on today's video all right iron ingots excellent iron wire on the way now let's check out rotors oh yes there we go. Yes, the moment of truth. Trucks enacted. Maybe I'll use them everywhere. No, I'll probably never use them again because that drove me absolutely nuts recording that. That's why I stick to long belts and trains. Now that I'm an absolute truck master, we have a couple neighborhoods in. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm Dr. Luke Crate and stay stoked out there.